All right, so far it's been pretty smooth sailing. The equations have been pretty simple to handle, but everything's about to change. So get ready. Um, so now we're going to move on to the flyback converter section of these where I have the major components. What I've you know evaluated to be the major, what I would call major components of this circuit, which are the controller slash you know, switcher, the flyback transformer, the MOSFET, aka switch, the output diodes, and the output capacitors. So this should look familiar. This is all the components basically in that Wikipedia diagram that I explained. I've also shown in some previous videos. Um, these are where we're gonna start whenever we're, we're determining our component values. So the first place I wanna start is at our flyback controller. We've already actually sourced our flyback controller um, based on that TI website search that I showed. So um, in the data sheet, if you look, the important, one of the important, I say parameters that you wanna to square away first with the flyback controller is its maximum duty cycle. So I have here in the notes that this is arbitrarily set based on what you want it to be. Um, and quickly, I wanna talk about what a duty cycle is. So duty cycle is just a percentage of time that the signal spends high or low. Uh, specifically, I think duty cycle means how, how uh, often it stays high. So whenever you see this number 0 0.68, so you can say like 68% of the time the signal is high versus low. So the data sheet, and let me see, I'll be referencing some, I'll go to the exact page. The data sheet will mention um, somewhere later on, it's down, it's like page 20. It says that, uh, I'll go back to, um, so it gives you this equation, D max equals one minus, and actually uh, tells you it's one minus uh, quantity T sub R divided by two times F max, and I'll just show it's this equation right here, minus D mag, CC. So, so what this is telling us, um, well here we'll talk about the variables in this equation first. The so D max is the maximum duty cycle. E sub R over two is the, it is the period of, it's, I think it's the resonant period or uh, period sub resonant is what that stands for. Then you have times F max. So F max is our target maximum switching frequency that we get to choose based on what we want. It's rather arbitrary, to be honest. Um, it's sort of like you know picking a value that you kind of want to pick a value that's kind of safe. So if you actually look in the application schematic, they select a value of F max that is equal to 105 kilohertz. Um, so that's the value I chose just to be safe. And if you remember on the data sheet, um, in that beginning section, it talks about it has a maximum switching frequency of 130 kilohertz. So um, basically 105 is just safely away from 130. So we know we're not actually pushing the limits of this controller and that way, you know, if we're operating at its maximum capacity, then any type of defect in the chip could cause, you know, poor operation of our circuit. So here we have F max selected to be 105 kilohertz. Uh, D mag CC is actually mentioned in the data sheet. It's in one of those tables that I mentioned that the data sheet that the application section will reference a lot. And that is equal to 0 0.425. And the TR is just talked about in that paragraph right above D max as uh, about one microsecond. So that's one E to the negative six. So whenever you plug this information in and you spit it out, it equals D max is equal to 0 0.68. We ended up using this value for later calculations, I believe. Um, so yeah, it's right now you're probably wondering like this thing whole this whole thing seems very like arbitrary what we just did. Like we just picked a value, and what you kind of realize as we do more and more of these is at some point you do kind of make an arbitrary um, choice, and it. This is kind of like, I guess we'll talk about this. This is like the crux of being a, it's like a, a critical part of being a good engineer is that in your head, you kind of have these, you know, value judgments going on, on 
well, if I choose an Fmax of this, how's it going to affect the rest of my circuit? And basically, you're kind of trying to do give uh, provide your best judgment for how what's what what the consequences of your choices will be, and figure out well, will this actually work? Is this the best choice based on what I, how I want my circuit to perform? One example is the consequence of choosing an Fmax of 105, or say you choose a really high Fmax. What that could do is allow you to pick a transformer that's very small in size and say you're trying to design a really compact design like this right maybe you need something with a really really high switching frequency um but as a result of a really high switching frequency maybe your design isn't as efficient you know maybe it's only 64 percent efficient as opposed to the 75 percent efficiency um, rating that some other you know designs have so that's kind of what's going on here with some of these decisions it's like you make a couple choices and then you kind of let the chips fall where they they fall and that's kind of how this that's like that's kind of a good summary of the design process here um, so hopefully you'll see that develop more um, as we continue on but this is this is pretty much the the main parameter for our flyback controller here and that's basically picking f max and then the resultant maximum duty cycle from it so that's that's pretty much it for this part